Good morning Year 4, it's Monday the 25th of January and today we're going to add fractions. Okay, let's have a look at the fractions I've got here in front of me. I've got two thirds and I'm going to add it to two thirds. So my calculation is going to look like this, two thirds added to two thirds and what I can do with this practical equipment is add that together and I can see I've got one, two, three, four thirds but that is also the same as one whole and a third my mixed number coming in there Let's have a look at this second one. What have I got here? I've got one, two, three quarters added to one, two, three quarters. So my calculation is going to look like this. How many quarters have I got if I add those together? I can bring that one over there, bring it all together. One, two, three, four, five, six quarters. There's my improper fraction from the other day, but I also know that that can be expressed as one whole and two quarters. Excellent, let's move on. What have we got here? We've got one, two, three, four fifths added to one, two, three, four fifths. equals, bring those two together, that one goes into there. How many fifths have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fifths. And we know that improper fraction is the same as one whole and three fifths. Okay, now, a bit of a difficult, harder one here. What have I got here? I've got three sixths added to two sixths added to three more sixths. Okay, now I can bring all that together to add it together. How many sixths have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sixths. And I know that the eight sixths is the same as, that's my improper fraction, is the same as one whole and two sixths. Good. Now. Let's go just to a picture rather than using the practical equipment. Let's have a look at this calculation here. What's this saying? It's saying three quarters and this is saying two quarters. We're going to add them together. Three quarters added to two quarters is five quarters. There's our improper fraction. We know that five quarters is the same as one whole, four quarters and then another quarter, so our answer would be one and a quarter. Here's another one, what have we got here in our picture? We've got two thirds, because it's in three parts remember, two thirds and another two thirds underneath. So our calculation says two thirds added to two thirds equals four thirds. Four thirds is the same as one whole and a third. Moving from a picture just to the fraction calculation, we've got a calculation here that says four fifths added to three fifths. So in your head you can do four added to the three. How many fifths is that? Well that makes us seven fifths. And we know this is an improper fraction so I'm going to show it as a mixed number here. Seven fifths is the same as one whole and two fifths. 
Now, this one's a bit harder. There are some like this in your work today. Look at this one here. I've given you one and two thirds added to another two thirds. So I've already got a ho one hole there. Okay, so let's just think about this. So straight away, I'm going to put my one hole in because I know I've got that. And then I'm going to think about my thirds. I've got two thirds and another two thirds. That will make four thirds. So my answer is one and four thirds. Hmm, look at this. This is improper. Can I make my four thirds into another whole number? Well, I can. I know that four thirds is one and one third, but I've also got this one hole here. So in total, that would give me two holes and a third. Okay, because this four thirds here, this four thirds is one and one third. And then my other whole number is there. Tricky, but doable. Very challenging one just at the end. There are a couple like this today. Look what we've got here. We've got three holes already. And then we've got our fractions. We've got three eighths added to six eighths. So we know straight away we're going to have our three holes. Bring that straight over. And then we can think about our eighths. Three eighths added to six eighths is nine eighths. Yeah. Now, nine eighths, that's that improper fraction. That is the same as, what well, you can tell me, think about it straight away. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's one whole and one eighth. But I've already got three holes here and another one here now. So in total, this calculation is four holes and one eighth. This is the trickiest sort you'll get today. You'll have some like this on Teams, you'll have some with pictures, and you'll have a couple of tricky ones like this. Good luck with adding fractions, year four. Goodbye.